morning we're gonna head up the hills in search of the painted soda bottle now these are uh, they're actually a lot of fun to uh, to look for and collect the uh, painted soda bottles these I guess they're technically it's called uh, applied painted label or something like that but before they uh, actually painted it on the bottle they would, uh, this is a beer bottle, they would put a uh, paper label on. The problem with the paper labels is uh, they would um, have to be reapplied every time they filled the bottle. The other method they did was the uh, embossed bottle. Now, all you guys my age, you definitely recognize this. Um, the embossed bottle, uh, wasn't expensive as far as applying the labels. The only problem is the embossing didn't stand out. It wasn't as colorful, so they couldn't, uh, their product didn't stand out from the other products. So around the mid, mid to late 30s, uh, they started painting the label on. And there's all different sizes, you know, shaped, colors. Some of them are, are pretty neat. Um, the another neat thing about these bottles is a lot of them will tell you where it was bottled and it'll tell you when. Um, you know, like this one here, for instance, this bottle is uh, from Hallbrook, Arizona. Um, this bottle here, I can't read that, but it was made in 1945. So they're, they're really interesting bottles to collect, and there's a lot of them are, are bottled locally. Um, you know, you'll have a, a town that uh, bottled this in that area. Um, one of my local area was uh, uh, done up in Reading called Wonderland, and there, you know, for this area, those are the hard bottles to find, but that's what makes it fun. Now, the the way I look for these is there's two different methods I use. One of them is to to go to old. I'll get old maps and I'll find the old the old roads that have been uh, abandoned or bypassed that were main thoroughfares in the 30s, 40s, 50s. Um, and then during the winter, after all the, the leaves have fallen and, you know, the, you can see around the brush and stuff. And this, I do it up in the hills because the problem is when they toss one of these bottles out, like down here in the valley, it gets buried pretty quickly. Up in the hills, it's on a side hill. So there's basically you'll get leaves and stuff over them and you'd be surprised after a while how how you can spot a hump of leaves and know it's a bottle but i'll just walk the edge of the roads and uh just look for the old bottles and then uh, the other thing i do is i go up into the hills and try to locate areas that look like a good camping site um where they, you know, in the 40s, 50s, where they might have camped for when they were deer hunting or, you know, the family up on vacation or whatever. Well, standard procedure back then, like when I was a kid, was when you're all done, you dug a big hole and you buried all your garbage. Well, I'll take my metal detector and I will go look for those garbage pits. And in those garbage pits, you'll find these bottles and you'll also find the old beer cans, which I still haven't found one yet because I promised you a video on that. So I'm going to be looking for those today to do. Also. So right now we're going to load everything up, jump in the truck and head up the hill. See if we can find some bottles. Okay. We've stopped at our first site here and 
the reason I stopped here is we're just a little ways off a, a gravel road, uh, not too terribly far, so it's easy access. It's uh, nice and flat, lots of shade. Uh, there's uh, water right behind us here. Now, when you're looking for a spot to start detecting or checking out for, you know, old campsites, there are several things I go by. Number one is just, would I camp here? Um, if the answer is no, then probably not a lot of other people are going to camp here. Then you want to make sure that there's a water source nearby. Uh, it doesn't have to be drinking water, but uh, you know, a lot of times, like when I was a kid, we always brought drinking water, but we always had a creek or something where we can get water to wash the dishes and clean the kids up and all that kind of stuff. And then another thing uh, that I, I look at, and it's also a big decider, is, is there a campfire ring? Most all the old camps would have a, a nice campfire ring. Now this spot we're at right now, everything is perfect except there's no campfire ring. So I'm gonna take a, a walk around, see what I can just notice. One thing I, I always do is I always check the banks of the creek. So let's take a quick walk. Now, right here, I don't know if you can see it or not, I'll give you a close up of it, we have an old bottle, well, it's looking at the bottom, it's not that old. But we got a bottle sticking out of the bank here. Okay, now you can see that this bottle has been here for a while. And we'll take and, uh, you can tell by the bottom here that uh, the bottle's not real old, but we'll go ahead and see if we can get it out of here. Well, that thing stuck in there pretty good. And we have us an old twist top beer bottle. I don't know how old that is, but I wouldn't say it's very old. Okay, well, I'm gonna put that right back where I got it. And we're gonna move on. Well, after walking around a little bit, I've decided that I'm not going to bother to get the detector out. There's a couple things that bother me. Um, number one, uh, we're just a little too close to the road. Number two, um, no fire ring, and that's a biggie. And um, I didn't really see anything that jumped out at me as far as it looks like people camp here. Uh, there's, there's a lot of telltale signs you can, you can look for. Uh, nails in trees, uh, people will hang stuff up, you know, stuff like that, and I don't see any of that here. And another reason I'm thinking about heading back to the truck is I forgot to spray myself with uh, bug repellent and mosquitoes have discovered me. So let's head back to the truck. We'll go on up the road and uh, see if we can find us a better spot. Okay, I just uh, pulled over at this spot and uh, I'm, when I was driving by, I looked at this spot and I thought, man, that looks like a good spot to camp. Um, let me spin the camera around and show you. This is a beautiful place. I mean, you look at this place here And I mean, you can't get a nicer spot to camp. Now I've already uh, taken a uh, walk around here and uh, I found two old fire pits and they look really good to me because I don't think these things have been used in a long time. And that's the problem is if you find one that's been used recently, well, you're gonna to have to dig up a lot of new garbage before you can find the old garbage. So these spots, it's been a while since they've been used. So if we can find some trash pits, the odds are they're gonna be old trash pits. All right, let's take a look at these fire pits. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now you can see this, this old fire pit is 
is almost buried. It hasn't been used in a long time. And so this is this is ideal. This is what you're looking for. There's another one over here. And right here we have uh, our other pet. This one's quite a bit larger. I'm assuming this was probably the main pet. Same thing though, it's been a long time since this has been used. Okay, here's, here's another really good looking sign. This is a big old tree here and you can tell by the sap here, there's an old wound to this tree. And it, you know, it's all covered up now. You can see where it's ingrown here, but this is an old wound to this tree. So I'm assuming at one time there was something nailed up here, something going on with this tree, and it's only 20 feet from the fire. And now the first thing I do is I try to visualize, okay, the fire pits right here, shade trees, the, I'm guessing the tent were probably over there. That's where I would put the tent. I would have my cooking equipment here. So where would I take my trash? Well, right over here is some trees and that's where I would put my garbage. So that's where I'm gonna go. Now, the difference you gotta, you gotta uh, figure is back when I was a kid, now grant you I lived on a, on a rural area, there was no garbage collection. So our garbage was all burnt, fed to the cows, and what uh, we had a big burn barrel, and when the burn barrel finally got filled up, we'd take it down to alongside the river in one of the old tailings piles, there was a city dump and you just dump your barrel out and periodically the county would come along and cover it up with gravel. Well, we were used to burying our garbage. So there would be no reason for us to take the garbage home and bury it. It was, it was just common practice to dig a hole and bury it here. So what I would have done is I would have gone over here and dug a pit and then while we're camping, you got garbage, you take it and you throw it in the pit. The stuff that would burn, you burnt in the fire pit. And when you're all done, everything was all cleaned up, the last thing you did before you leave was you buried up that pit. So our job today is to find those pits. So let's head over there and see if we can find one. Okay, right here where I'm standing is where we got that good loud signal. Now we had another one over here that I marked, but it was much smaller. This here is a nice, nice big target. So I'm gonna run back to the truck, grab the shovel and a pair of pruning shears so I can get this out of my way. And we'll see what's down here. Now in a spot like this, what I like to do is scrape off a couple inches of dirt before you dig a hole. That way when you're done and you bury everything up, you can put that dirt right back on top and it looks like you've never been here. And I just hit a can, an old rusty can. Okay, I'll get the camera up here and I'll open this up a little bit more and then I'll get out the scratcher and we'll see what we got. Okay, now another good use for the pruning shears is most of the time the garbage is going to be in around trees like this, so you're going to want to uh, be able to clip the roots. Just put a hole in the can.
Hey, looks like it was an old spray can. Okay, we definitely have some garbage here. Well, I've been digging for a bit and I just dug up an old uh, Shasta soda can. Now this one has a pop top and aluminum top. So this is 60s. So let's go a little deeper, see what else is down there. Well, this is getting interesting as we go down. The heel off of somebody's boot. And I've got uh, three or four cans opened up down here. I haven't any glass yet, so let's get these cans out of the way and see if we can get to some glass. Okay, I've, uh, I don't know how well this is showing it, but I got a, another can right here. And that one, I'm not sure what it is. But it's definitely got writing on the side of it. See if I can get her out. The roots in here are terrible. But then again, we're underneath a tree. Okay, now maybe you can see it. It's an old uh, Olympia beer. Not too bad a condition other than they smashed it. Okay, I hit another target down there. Let's see what we got. Now we got our first glass target. And got something over the top of it. I gotta get out first. I don't know what that is. Get a couple roots out of here. Okay. Not really sure what this is. Ugh. No idea what that was. I don't know if the camera's showing this or not. Because it's dark in this corner, and then we're down in a hole. Now I'm trying to get to the neck because that's where the uh, that's the part you want to pull out first because that's the part that breaks the easiest. Oh, it's a soda bottle. Ah. Pepsi. This is kind of tough to do. I got to keep readjusting the camera and I don't know how to adjust why it's recording. So I got to stop recording, go to menu and adjust it. And I'm sure there's an easier way, but I'll figure it out someday. Well, we just got our first painted soda and it's an old uh, Pepsi bottle, Pepsi-Cola. And I don't have my glasses, I can't read it. I will have to see the date when we go home. That's uh, one thing, even though the you're digging, let's say, trash in the 60s, you can still dig up a bottle from the 40s or earlier because they used these bottles for years and years and years. I mean, they basically used them till they wore out. Um, so you never know what you're going to find. You could be digging a, a hole from the 60s and find a bottle from the 40s. You just never know. Okay, we're going on down. Maybe there's more. Well, I didn't go much further and uh, hit another piece of glass. Now, this one, I don't think it's a soda bottle because this one's flatter. So I'm not sure what it is, but uh, I'm going to aim the camera down there and hopefully you can see. That is, as soon as I finish changing all the settings. <laughs> you can see a shiny spot, and that's our bottle. Okay, let's dig that thing up, see what we got. 
I'm beginning to think our bottle's an old salad dressing bottle. I'm a little more interested in the can right now. After there's two of them, there's three of them. There's a soda can, looks like. We got us a soda can here. Orange soda. Shasta orange soda. I drank those when I was a kid. Okay. Mm, boy, that beer can is not moving. Well, that's why. Tied in with root. Okay, now let's try it. There we go. This one's in pretty good shape. So, still got beer in it. Okay, now for the bottle. And it is, well, let me, I'm going to have to change that settings again. Okay, and it is an old salad bottle. Here's our soda can. Here's our beer can. And I got one more can down here. I got another soda can here. And it's another Shasta orange soda. And it sounds like I got another bottle. Got another bottle down there. And this one I recognize. The log cabin syrup. And I remember those when I was a kid. Log cabin syrup. Well, one thing I know for sure, they like the Lipia beer because I've just dug up two more and I got two more down here in the hole. Uh, one of them looks like it may not be smashed. So uh, hopefully we can get one good can out of this. I stopped for lunch and after lunch, I opened this hole up a little bit more and I hit another piece of glass and I got another can, but I think we're on the bottom of it. I'm finding nothing below them. It's just as I go forward, I'm finding stuff, but it's starting to thin out. So I'm thinking uh, we pretty much got this hole dug out. So uh, let's dig down there and see what we got. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but right there we got glass. And right here, get some of these roots out of the way, I got another can. We're gonna go for the glass first. These plastic shovels, best thing in the world for digging bottles because you can't break them with the plastic shovel. Oh, it's a soda bottle. Next down on this end, I got a big old root right in the way. Ah, it's still too tight. There we go. Oh. All right. Delaware. Delaware punch. I don't know if that's a soda bottle or what it is. Well, it's got to be a soda bottle. All right, let's see what the can is. Oh, that thing is stuck in there too. Ah. Hey, 
Yeah, it looks like a Shasta soda, but a different flavor. Well, after that uh, bottle in the last can, I'm getting nothing. This was the last thing I dug up right here. And it's got an L on it. And I really don't know what it was. But we'll throw it in the treasure pile and take it home. Until we figure out what it is. Okay, let me give you a shot of all the stuff we dug out of this hole. Okay, you can see we got quite a pile of stuff out of here. And you got to include our uh, two soda bottles. So I'm thinking it's not too bad of a, a hole. Now I am going to take uh, one of these beer cans and one of these soda cans home. And uh, we can use those on, uh, show you how we clean those up. Okay, well right now, I'm gonna put all this stuff back in this hole in a nice neat pile so the next guy can find it and take what he wants out of it. Uh, one thing I want to mention while I'm doing this is as you dig the trash out, make sure you put the trash in its own pile. Um, that way when it comes time to, to bury this up, you can either pack it out or you can put it all back in the hole, but that way when you bury it up, if you got it mixed in with your dirt, then you're gonna end up with trash on the surface and stuff. And, and uh, the object is to put it back the way it was before we got here. Well, we got our hole buried up. Got our treasure sitting right there. I must be getting old because I'm getting tired. Uh, I'm gonna pack this stuff over to the truck right now. Oh, truck's all loaded and uh, I must, I really hate to leave because I mean, it's just absolutely perfect weather. It's uh, almost, if I wasn't moving around, I'd be chilly. And I know I'm going back into the mid 90s. So, but got to go home sometime. So I will see you back at the house. Well, I'm back at the house, and yep, it is the next day. And I downloaded the video I shot yesterday, and I'm really worried that this is going to be a stupid long video. So I'm going to cut this part of it really short. I was going to clean those bottles up and show you the bottles, but I decided I'm just going to do a really short video on how I clean those bottles up, and I'll show you the finished product then. So if you enjoyed the video, and you're not already a subscriber, please go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel. And if, like I say, if you enjoyed the video, even though it was or gonna be stupid long, uh, go ahead and hit the like button. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shut my mouth now and say you have a wonderful day.